Yo, what is good dev guys? Welcome back to part four of this video series. Uh, what I want to do is go ahead and start creating the UI so that we can have that already ready to go. And uh, in the next video, we'll go ahead and create our blueprint interface or we'll go ahead and code up our interface in C++ and then add that interface to our actor. Um, so let's go ahead and right click in our UI folder. Let's add a widget blueprint and this is going to be called WBP underscore async HUD, I guess. All right, once that's loaded up, we're just gonna add a few buttons here. We're not gonna make this anything spectacular. We're also not gonna code up the UI either. This is just getting the setup done. So this button, this button is going to load, well, let's just call it random load single static and uh, this button is going to have some text in it so i'm gonna drag some text inside of it and we're going to go ahead and size the button to content because we want it to be based on the size of the text and then we also want to put it center uh, down at the center and then we want to center it on the x here and oh i put negative five sorry 0.5 and let's go ahead and center out the X position to zero. So this will be our middle button. And uh, we'll call this text here, load, let's say load random static asset. And we can call this single in here so we know what it does. And for these top buttons, we can go ahead and give them all the same, all the same color and make them blue. Let's make them purple. I already made them blue. Make them purple. And then I want to go ahead and duplicate this. So control W over here inside of the uh, canvas panel. And we're going to call this random load single skeletal. And we're going to keep it where it is uh, on the like the center but let's drag it over to the negative 600 of the x maybe more than that maybe negative 800 and then let's bring it up on the y to the same height as this and i'm gonna actually make this number like negative 210 so it's something uh a round number so that i could remember it negative 210 and um see that kind of goes out of the uh, frame there so let's see what will happen if I change this here, skeletal. It'll be the same. So what we can do is give this a little bit more room here. So maybe negative 650. All right, that looks fine. And let's make one more of these. So this will and actually, this is supposed to um, not load the skeletal. This is supposed to uh, try to async load. So get rid of this. Call try async load and pass in this little static here. We want to, to async load the static assets. And there we go. And let me change the name of this to try async load static. And then I'll duplicate this one more time here. And this will random load our uh, static objects, but on a loop. So I'll call it random load loop static. And in the text, I'll do the same thing, load random asset, and then in here, instead of single, we'll put loop. And for the justification here, we want to go negative 210 on the Y. And let's move it positive 650 on the X. So it kind of looks like it's uh, in the same area. What is going on here? Uh, why did I put negative 200? Negative 210. All right. So now we got that for our um, static assets. 
Now we just need to uh, go ahead and uh, copy all of these buttons and change it to skeletal. So I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to change this to skeletal instead of uh, static. And let's make this on the Y negative 300 so that it's right above and maybe negative 350. Let's get a little bit more space here and change the text here to uh, skeletal asset and let's go ahead and duplicate this random loop logic here or the loop version and let's call it loop skeletal and I believe that this is negative or positive 600 on the X so let's do that 600 and then negative 350 to get that whoa what is this at 650 okay so 650 and we need to go ahead and convert this to skeletal and now we just need our try async load here try async load skeletal All right, so I lied. We're actually going to set up the code, but we're not going to finish it. Um, I just want to have most of the things set up so we can just plug and play in the next videos. So try async low skeletal is going to go, I believe, negative 600 on the X. Nope, it's negative 650. And negative 350 on the Y. And we need to change the text to skeletal assets. All right, and now let's go ahead and go to the uh, graph here. And let's go ahead and just create a on-click event for all of these buttons here. I'll organize them once we get, at, get them all there. So this is for our static. We move the skeletal over here, static, skeletal on this side, and static. We're missing one skeletal, there it is. So the way that we're going to do this is that we're going to find the actors in our world of the type of uh, our async actor. And then once we get that actor, we're going to call the um, interface function on it. But since we don't have the interface function yet, we're just going to get the actor so I can get all that set up. All these will do is get all actors of class and we can say our, what is it called? BP async test actor. And we just get the first one since we're not using more than one. And this will be the code that um, we use for all of these here. So I'll just set them up. In a bigger project, you wouldn't want to do this here. Um, but technically it wouldn't be bad because a lot of the times when you're doing something like this, you're only going to have one actor. So it's fine. I guess you could um, have a variable that holds the actor as a hard reference, but mm, you wouldn't want to do that. I guess it would be the same thing as here. Once you run this code here, it gets a reference to the actor. Whoa. Oh, shift W does that. Okay. I was pressing shift W instead of control W control W. There we go. And, um, that's all we're going to do in this video. In the next video, we'll start coding up the functions inside of our uh, blueprint interface C plus plus class. And, um, then we'll actually tie these functions into that interface. So if you guys are ready for that, go ahead and join me in the next video and I'll see you guys in there. Peace.